crime he was accused of committing in 1991. 30 years later, the case is reemerging in hopes of getting Melvin Quinney exonerated. It's an effort by the Texas Innocence Project. And as Eric Hernandez explains, Quinney's son is testifying once again, but this time with an entirely different story. Now in his 70s, Melvin Queenie is looking to have his 1991 conviction exonerated. The Texas Innocent Project has taken up his case. In 1991, John Parker testified that his father had sexually abused him as a part of a satanic ritual. The entire story, Parker says, was forced on him by his mother and other adults in his life, ranging from therapists, church friends, investigators, and attorneys. Did there seem to be a consistent, if you will, agenda to convince you that you'd been satanically and sexually abused? Yeah, and at some point, I don't know when it was, like I just started buying into it. It wasn't until he was an adult that he started to realize everything was a lie. He reconnected with his father in 2014, who had been out of jail since 1999. Parker and his siblings reached out to the Texas Innocence Project to help get their father exonerated. Has your father ever sexually abused? No, he hasn't. Are all of those allegations completely false? Yes, they are. What happens next? Judge Andrew Carruthers will send his recommendation on the case to the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals, and they will rule in or not in favor of exoneration. If they rule in favor, it goes back to the trial court to officially order the exoneration of Queenie's 1991 conviction. That whole process can be time consuming and take as long as a year or more. Melvin's case is just one of several from the 80s and 90s where people were being wrongfully convicted and accused of being in satanic cults. Coming up at 6, we'll take a look at what satanic panic is and how it affected cases here in Texas. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.